everyone get enough to eat? Looks like there's still some food over there. No? Luke, did you get enough to eat? Okay. Um, all right, so it's going to be a little awkward for me in the beginning. I'm not used to this microphone, so if I start to trail off, just let me know or give me an out or something. All right, uh, so what I would just like to get started. Um, I brought a little cheat sheet so I don't forget anyone. Um, so first, I'd like to say thank you, everyone, for coming. I know it's a little difficult having it so far away from the season. Joey, get off your phone. Um, so far away from the season. Uh, but thank you for coming, uh, getting together. I know it's been a long time, but we just like to get together, recognize the people out of the awards, kind of get together one last time, and go our separate ways. Um, so I'd just like to say some thank yous first. Thank you to the parents, um, one, for tonight. So thank you, everyone that brought stuff and put it on. Um, all of the spaghetti dinners we had throughout the year, bringing your kids to the, the practices and games, those of you that don't drive, paying for their equipment and their fee and everything else. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you for being parents, basically. Um, thank you. Uh, next, I'd like to say thank you to the coaches. Um, Terry, Ross, Steve, Pete, Dusty, um, it's really nice to have multiple people on the ice, especially having a varsity and a JV this year. So it's really nice to have people there to work with different positions, things like that. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to all of them. Um, and Terry's the only one who's here. Um, Dusty is on vacation. I'm here, obviously, yeah. Uh, Dusty, oh, Russ, sorry, Russ too. Um, Dusty's on vacation. He would just, he wanted me to tell you that he's very proud of the JV kids and everyone, and he was happy to coach. Um, he wanted to be here. But unfortunately, he's in Mexico, probably sitting next to the pool. Um, <laughs> um, so I, what I would like to say before I move on is, any of the coaches that are here, do you guys want to get up and say anything at all about the year? No? Terry's good? Russ? You good? You sure? <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you, you guys. It means a lot. Um, it's nice to have you, and I'm sure the players would agree that it's nice to have multiple people helping out at different levels. Um, so, thank you. All of the parents also that are coaching the 4-on-4, thank you. Um, I know that the season's winding down, but uh, it's basically between us and Pine City, and so we'll see. Um, I'd like to say thank you to the managers, um, Danny and Spencer. Is, did Spencer make it here? Where is Spencer? Who forgot to pick Spencer up? He's probably sitting at school waiting for wire right now. Um, so. So Danny, thank you, and Spencer. Uh, managers are extremely reliable. It was really nice to have them. Um, we relied on them a lot and just told them to do stuff, which is really nice that they didn't get mad at all. They just kind of did whatever we asked. Um, Spencer went above and beyond at the Mora game. Um, <laughs> and he did it without question, which was really nice. And, and Danny also was there, and he would carry anything he could. And, um, so it was nice having the managers there at the tournament and everything we did. So thank you to the managers. Um, <laughs> so next, we'll move on a little bit. Thank you, yeah. All right, I'm going to set this back up. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with the mic. Yeah. Good thing I wasn't like a professional singer or something, you know. It's, it's cool. uh, so before I move into the awards, I just wanted to say, I'm a good singer, just wait. Uh, I'd like to say that I think personally it was a successful season. I know our record doesn't always show, um, it's not always what, what we want it to be, but realistically we have, to, we have to do the best we can. And I don't think there was very many games that we played in this year that we were completely out of. I mean, I can think of one or two, but every other game we were in. And whether it came down to the end or whether it came down to one or two plays, it's been a long time since a Moose Lake team can say that. Um, and it just is. Some of the younger guys might not know, but we literally didn't, almost didn't have a team. We pulled kids that couldn't skate just three years ago to even keep a team in Moose Lake. So I know sometimes I don't, we don't want to you know, go back to that and say, well, we're not expecting to do bad, but at the same time, we have to keep things in perspective. We're not a team who's going from being in the state tournament to all of a sudden dropping off and having a rough year. It's a battle to keep a hockey team in Moose Lake. There's not a lot of towns our size that have their own youth association and have a high school team. So it's something that is a lot of work that take, it takes a lot of work from multiple different people to keep that. And so, I mean, it's something that we just have to recognize. It's nice to do that. It's nice to stay competitive and have kids come through all the way through and play on one team. 
It doesn't happen in small towns. And I know we've had to expand the co-op and get bigger and bigger, but that's just something to keep in mind, that we still have hockey here. No matter what we do, we still have it here, and so in five years, our whoever's kids or little brothers are going to be able to play. So that's something to just keep in mind. So, um, so I, I think it was a good year. JV, it was a little bit of an adjustment at first, only having an hour and 20 minutes. But I think we had fun. I mean, everyone was able to have some success. I wish Brett Bailey was here. He even scored a goal this year. Um, so it was nice from Brett Bailey to the biggest kid on our team. We had, you know, every kid was improving. And I think most of the coaches agree. We have meetings throughout the year. So that was kind of our goal. We didn't go into it looking what's our JV winning record going to be. It's going to be we want these kids to get better because that's the bottom line. So, um, so I think they had a lot of success. Um, there's not a lot of... of uh, Stand on memories. It's tough because our season seems like it was so long ago. I mean, it was what a month and a half ago that it ended. Um, so yeah, I had it. I had a fun year, and I know a lot of the kids did too. So I would just like to say, as a coach, I'd like to say thank you to the players uh, for giving everything you guys did and keeping you know working hard the whole time. So thank you guys. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm gonna move on, um, and I might need uh, Terry. What do you guys want to come up and hold these things for me? You want to stand there and hold the mic in my mouth? <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Alright, uh, so the first thing I'm going to give out, uh, we have letter awards from Moose Lake. Um, so academic awards, I'll get to those. The only ones I'm giving out here are academic all-conference. Um, our school the spotlight on Scholar, Moose Lake, and Willow River. I'm going to give those to those kids individually. Um, Cromwell, East Central, Barnum, your guys' school does something different. And what that is, Moose Lake and Willow River is 3.0 and above. Um, I'll give to those to those kids. Um, I think Barnum recognizes them at like an athletic banquet that they do for everyone. Um, but each school kind of has their own thing. So the awards I'm going to be giving for academic awards, those are academic all-conference, which is 3.5 or higher, um, and lettering in a varsity sport. So. Yeah. All right, so the first one we have is here. Um, so it's a varsity letter and it's a academic all-conference and that is Anakin Oswald. He's coming out in again. Take a step. He's starting from track. Alright, next one we have is Brendan Lake, he also has a letter and an academic all-conference award. Yeah. Congratulations. So I don't know the exact number, but Brendan had the highest GPA on our team, cumulative GPA. Yeah. You wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it either. It's very talkative and outgoing. So. Um, next one we have is an academic all or academic all conference and a letter and that goes to Mark Fossum. Mark, there he is. I don't know if any of you uh, do any of you guys that go to East Central or Barnum play baseball. Or just raise your hand. All right, you guys are gonna lose when you play Moose Lake, by the way. So just let you know. Um, Spencer did show up. Spencer, hey, thank you, Spencer. Where is he? Hey, Sp <laughs> make sure you get something to eat. Thank you, Spencer. Spencer just came from Wyoming, apparently. All right, next we have a varsity letter for Tanner Barrow. Tanner, you come on up. Tanner is lifting and he says he will be bigger next year, so everyone hold him accountable. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Bern Anderson the third. Come on down, Bern. Yeah. You do play baseball? Bern plays baseball. Uh, next, we have Michael Lilia. I'm very jealous of their track team, by the way, because they have an actual track. So it beats uh, Rhodes. 
Um, next we have, I believe he's the captain of the 4-on-4 four four team. He's, I've heard he's the unspoken captain of the 4-on-4 four four team. Um, we have Nick Weggie. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a letter. I don't say that to make fun of him. And somehow in, in football his nickname became Wedgie with Cummins. And it just, it's stuck, and I keep, I keep catching myself saying that. Really? Weggy is how you pronounce it, I believe. <laughs> uh, next, we have the uh, golfer, Danny Whited. Danny, come on down. Danny Leonard. If you ever want to feel better about yourself comedically, Stand around Danny Whited. He laughs at everything. It makes it feel much better. So true. Uh, next we have Cody Anderson. Varsity letter. Cody, come on down. Not here, I believe. No? Logan's not. Do you want to grab that and bring it to him at some point? I will. Okay. Uh, next we have Debon Dembankowski. Come on down, Devin. This is why it's third or second, I think it's your third year in an academic golf conference. That's pretty much his attitude right there. <laughs> so, uh, next we have a letter award, and then we also have a two members all conference. Um, and I strongly believe he was the best player in the conference, but it didn't get voted on that way. Um, that's just the way it works. Uh, so next we have Bryson Buckowitz. Alright, uh, next we have the seniors. We have the awards, but I'm going to ask the seniors you guys stay up here. Alright, so after you get your award, come up here. I'll give a touching speech. We'll all start crying and we'll move on from there. All right? Yeah, uh, and then we have the bags for the senior gifts too, so we'll either, and the names are on there, I believe, right? Okay, the names are on there. On the little tags. Alright, uh, first one is a letter award, um, a bag uh, for a very special player who has very special hair, and we hear about it all the time. I'm sure he's going to miss that when he goes to college. Joy Whited, come on down. Joey still does not have a date to prom yet, so if any of you know any lovely ladies, he's looking for one. He's a little shy, alright? He's a little shy. <laughs> Next we have Alex Erickson. Come on down, Alex. Alex is very good at his job at Chris's Boots, so if you ever need food, and See him, say hi. He's working. Okay. Holiday. I went into holiday the other day. It was Hunter and Richie working. Dream team there. Um, so next one's Hunter. So we'll set this aside, Hunter Lee. Next we have a letter and uh, Two Rivers All Conference, uh, Devin Murphy, come on down. Alright, so the next one we have letter, um, 
Two Rivers Off Conference, uh, honorable mention. Um, and then we have something called the Hobie Baker Award. Um, the Hobie Baker is given to someone, we pick someone who exemplifies, I'll just read it, in re I had the right word, in recognition of exemplary character and sportsmanship, your deeds, uh, his name, and inspiration, a solemn tradition of Hobie Baker. So basically, Hello? you pick someone who represents what you want, um, what you want to see out of academics, out of uh, leadership, responsibility. It's not just about playing. Um, so every year we pick someone that kind of has the characteristics that we want, and this person has really grown as a person and a hockey player. So we have all of these going to Richie Parza. Come on out, Richie. Okay, so we have our seniors. I left them up here just because I wanted to talk to them for a second. So these are our seniors. Hunter, obviously, who's not here, he's working, but they've been here three years, four, seven for some people. Um, but they've been playing on varsity, <laughs> um, and they've all stuck with it. Uh, we have, you know, we've had a few kids, not a few, I guess I can only think of one who's quit in the few, last few, few years, but they stuck with it, uh, and they keep working. One of the things that we really express is that they all grow as people, as I mentioned with Richie, but they all have. All of you that know these young gentlemen, um, they've really grown in the last three years, not just hockey-wise. They've all kind of become men, and they're all going out into the world. They're looking at college and all their stuff, and it's really exciting to see that. It's not just about sports, but i just like to say a special thank you. I know that the ice is going to be a little bit different next year in the locker room, not having these guys out there. And I'm sure every team we play, whoever takes over is gonna, the team is gonna say, hey, where's that long haired Jesus looking guy? So, so I would just like to say one more time, thank you to the seniors for everything you guys do. gifts for, for people they'd like to express their thank you to the people that Joey is going to say and give the cards to. Russ, come here. Come on down, Russ. You're welcome, Russ. Coach Terry. takes a lot of the time off of either the coach's hands or the managers or whoever we would get to do it. Um, so not every team we play puts the stats in right away, and so that's, sometimes we kind of have to do that, but it's really nice to have someone there that is doing that. So thank you, Rory. So. Coach Joe.
So uh, one of the things that, that I've been doing that I, I always forget to mention, but I always end up doing it, and I do it a lot of times for the, the Moose Lake kids just because I have contact with them a lot more often, is a lot of times when kids are looking for jobs or scholarships or other things, they'll need references. Um, if they play hockey or play for me, I'm a great reference to have. I know I've helped a lot of kids get a job and scholarships and things like that. So if in the future, even if I'm, you know, even if it's two years down the road and they're looking for a reference, feel free to ask. Um, it's something that, that kind of comes with the job. So, um, so I would just like to say, before we move on, or before everyone starts packing up, first of all, help finish the rest of the food. I see some of that dessert left over, which surprises me. Um, so help finish the food, um, off-season stuff, uh, skate as much as you can, make sure you're talking to Steve, because Steve wanted to run some off-season workouts. Um, otherwise, I would just like to say thank you for letting me coach your, your kids. So thank you for the year, and thank you for all the support, and I wish everyone in here the best of luck in the future. So thank you guys.